Hey friends, Catherine here. Um, I got a huge bag of corks from my aunt uh, just a couple days ago. And um, no, I want to use them in a project. I have been using corks to make stamps, but this is way more than I'm going to need for stamps. So I thought I'd try a different cork project. I figured I'd make a trivet. Um, a trivet is a hot thing that you can, or a thing that you can set hot things down on so that they don't ruin, like, your table or whatever. Um, the ones that I've seen done before have been done with hot glue, and as far as I'm concerned, that's not a great idea. Um, hot glue, the purpose of hot glue is to melt when it gets hot, so if you're putting something hot down on it, like, say, a pot of soup, you're going to get hot glue on the bottom of your pot of soup and uh, melted down to your table, and that's not a good idea. I don't want hot glue everywhere, so I'm going to be using wire. I've got this nice spool of wire. I've had it for a while now. Um, lasts forever. And I've got my corks, and I've laid them all out in the pattern that I like. I favor this herringbone pattern when I do repeated patterns like this. Um, so I've laid them all out and I did start wiring things together in order to test it to make sure that it was going to work. So some of this is already wired together, about half. Um, how I'm wiring it is I'm just going through and putting a line of wire down each of these sections. So the next sh section that I've got to do is the one starting here. To put the wire through it, what I do is I first get out enough wire to run through the section that I'm going to be doing. So like that much. It doesn't have to be a whole lot extra. Just give yourself a little bit left over on the ends for finishing it off. And you can absolutely put like beads or things on the ends to dress it up a little bit if you want to. That didn't occur to me when I started the project, so I'm not going to do it. Um, but if I do another one of these, I might uh, for next time. And then you take something pokey. I've got this, um, this hole maker from a snap setter set I've got but an ice pick would work just as well. And you just kind of jam it down through where you want the wire to go. The wire's not gonna go through by itself, so you are gonna wanna put something through it, like something that can make a hole. Um, and then you just slide your subject on and then we're, since this is the first one in the row, we're going to lock it in. So we're just going to take and curve the end over so that it's curved back toward the cork and then pull it from the other end so that it pulls down tight. And that locks it in and now it's not going anywhere. Now we're just going to go and set a hole in the next one and we need to do it the direction that we want the wire to go through. So here, let's scooch all of this up this way a little bit. There. And then very slowly and gently so as to make sure I'm not stabbing myself. Make sure that I get it through the cork evenly. There we go. Okay, that's something that I like. So let's free it from there and slide the wire on. Now, next one's gonna be this one. So do the same thing. Put a hole right where you'd like the hole to be jam it through until your pokey thing comes out the other side 
and then pull it off and slide it onto your wire. Just going to do this all the way down the row. So last one. There we go. And then before I slide this one on, because this one's going to be on the other end of it, I'm also going to put the hole in the end of this one. So let's just take and make it holy. There we go. Okay. So then slide our wire on and start pushing it through. Oop without releasing it from the other end. Hang on. There we go. This is where a pair of pliers might come in handy because you can use the pair of pliers to slowly feed the wire through your corks. Hopefully. without bending it too much. There we go. Let's just slide that to the side and let this down and then let this down and then so this one is a solid natural cork which can get a little challenging. Am I coming through the side? I am. Why am I going crooked through there? That's okay. If it doesn't work right one direction, turn it around and go the other way. There we go. See? Worked perfectly fine that time. And then just pull this back a little bit and put it through the last hole that we made. And feed everything along. until you get it all the way through, hopefully. Then should get easier because now we can grab it from the other end and pull it through. And I say should as though that's going to make it actually become any easier. Come on you. There we go. Okay. All tightened down and ready to go. So what we're going to do is do the same thing for this end. Just if you're going to put a bead on now would be the time. Um, but we're just going to curve it so that it curves toward the cork and click off the little bit of excess that we've got. And then just continue curving it down into the cork until it's tight enough that we are happy with the result. And that's another row done. Now we just put everything back into place. Let's see, there, 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 and there. Back into place and then go on to the next row. Same thing over again. Let out enough wire to Go all the way through. And put holes and run it through. So this is what I'm doing today. I'm 
also putting some cross pieces in to hold everything secure. Hopefully. We'll see how it goes, of course. But it will hopefully hold everything secure. But it is a little challenging to feed them through once I've already wired it up in one direction. So you might not want to do that. And it should hold itself together fairly well. Anyway, even without doing this, I just want to because I feel like it's a good idea. And I feel like it'll just hold everything together a little bit tighter and nicer and evener. Oh, come on, you. I just gotta try not to bend everything out of shape while I'm doing it. And this is the challenging part. Let's see if we can't use our wire clippers just to press that down and press that on. It's coming along. Part of why I need to do this is because I forgot to, um, I missed running through these wires through the end pieces so they're loose, it would be a lot tighter and I wouldn't need to do this if I hadn't missed it, but I did. So learn from my mistakes. If you dare. There we go, come on you. Anyway, you've seen what I'm doing. This is the pattern. That's what it will hopefully end up looking like when I've got these other four corks attached. And that's our process. Come on, you. Seriously, do not bend like that. For goodness sakes. All right, so I'm trying to feed the wire through from the middle because hopefully that will work better. We'll see how it goes. This probably isn't necessary, by the way. I already mentioned that, I think. I'm just doing it because I feel like it's going to be more secure, but you really probably don't have to. Especially not if you remember to wire them all the way instead of just part way. I 
actually, you know what? I'm just going to turn this wire off and end it because I'm done messing with that. And like I said, it'll be fine. It will be fine. There we go. Okay, and then that was like that. And next row. Right. Something to jam down the center. And where did that end go? Okay. Sometimes they want to be difficult. You just encourage it a little bit. And then pull it from the other end. And it locks into place. And that goes through there. trying to stab it through this cork without stabbing it through myself too, which is a delicate process. There we go. All right, all the way through and release and through. There we go. Okay, and then the next one goes like that. So we just do the same thing, holding it. And find our hole again. We can put it out, there it is and slide it on and then i believe this one is the end one there yep that's where i decided that one goes so i'll put a final hole through it and slide it on and i'm going to put the cut edge in toward the inside that way it shows less and then turn off and clip and press there we go okay and then this goes here so it's just going to be a short piece going through those two. There we go. Almost done. still got a whole other bag of corks to be doing other projects with so if you guys have any ideas of projects you'd like to see with corks I've got enough to try them go okay. 
through that one there we go that went through easy that time and then turn it off and Finish it down in. And there we have it. One trivet made of corks that will not melt when you put a pot of boiling soup onto it. That's what I did today. If you guys want to uh, suggest any other things to do, I would be happy to hear from you. And I will see you all later. Bye.